It's quite interesting, I do a lot of public speaking now and when I go to girls' schools and boys' schools I actually change my speech because I've noticed that boys, all they want to know is the gore, they want to know how much blood that I lost from my, from my leg when my bones burst through my ski boot and girls, girls really just want to know about dancing on ice and, uh, it, and it's a tough and interesting thing doing dancing on ice and being called a celebrity, you know, any of the people who take part in it, you're known as a celebrity for that whole period. And I was like, well, I'm not really a celebrity. I'm just someone who goes out there and skis every day. And that part of my life is, is incredible and surreal. And because of being a ski racer and having these big, big dreams and trying to be the best, I have been really lucky and fortunate to experience so many different things from, from dancing on ice to having our, our wedding on the front page of Hello, which was just crazy. I mean, who's really interested in two ski racers declaring their love for each other? But it was amazing. And, you know, some of it's crazy. I remember I had paparazzi outside my house after dancing on ice. And I was like, guys, uh, what are you doing here? Do you want me to do something? Do you want me to put an exhibition? I'm just come back from the gym. And I ended up giving them cups of tea and then calling out my friends who are kind of known in this world. And I said, what do you do when paparazzi are outside your house? And like, you ignore them. You never talk to them. I was like, oh, I just made them tea. And they were just like, oh. But it, it was an amazing experience. I did it first and foremost because I didn't even have the funding for a physio anymore. Um, it was when I was at my lowest ebb. I was just coming back from my first big leg break and I went in with three, three reasons. I wanted to improve my profile so that I could come back and have a head sponsor. I wanted to get physio every day and I, I just, you know, I wanted to have fun. I wanted to learn a new skill. I wanted to take my head away from being a ski racer for that one moment of time and just learn to ice skate. It wasn't really about learning to ice skate. It was learning how to put on a show, an exhibit, and I wasn't very good at that bit. I was okay at the ice skating bit, but I wasn't, I wasn't great about acting out in front of the camera. But it was a really amazing experience. I'm really glad I did it. It ticked every box for me, um, and yeah, how bizarre.